Hey guys, just a quick one today. Pulled apart my Tektronix TDS 210 because I found the BNC connectors here. They're a bit loose and I was not too happy with that, so I wanted to tighten them up. I've, I assumed that they were going to be a, a solder joint on the back that had just uh, cracked and come loose, so the pins were moving around in the PCB, but it wasn't that. Um, also, I uh, thought I'd put on the, the Earth League. Uh, from the uh, the BNC's which will then go straight to the earth connection on the IEC connector here this was a fix for a recall that was done on these um, years ago and I think this one was fixed or was not one of the serial numbers subject to the recall and uh, I think it's this little bit here that was the uh, the uh, thingy that fixed that recall um, basically what the recall was, was if you put mains uh, voltage on the shield of the BNC it's supposed to come through to the connector that's just here and then uh, through this earth lead to the earth but the problem was, was when the voltage came through as a dead short through the fine traces it would burn out like a fuse um, I think the way they may have fixed that was with this little bit of metal here because you've got the earth or the ground strap on the PCB comes all the way along to here and it's on the other side as well you can see there just along here um, so this piece here if I take it off you'll see that eyelet, the hole there this metal contacts it and then it touches on the inside of the box on the metalized surface and that's earth somewhere um, I didn't really like that so I'm gonna put an, earth, an actual earth wire that's soldered directly here and that's gonna go straight to earth just to give it a more robust earth connection as for those BNC's that were loose it turned out that the pins were loose in the casing so if you imagine we got each each BNC here has got four pins two on each side and they're sold in so it gives a nice strong connection you can just see them in there those pins are connected to these tube bodies but they're not an integral part they must be crimped or soldered or something on the inside and over time these two have come loose, this one especially because that's channel 1, channel 2 and that one is um, the external trigger so the external trigger is rarely used so it didn't have a problem but these ones did and so I looked at it and thought well if it's not a cracked uh, solder joint it must be like I said inside so how can I fix that without replacing these because I don't know if I can get these things anymore the, the uh, scope is so old so I had a close look and it turns out they had solder pads which were on the top here which weren't covered by the uh, the solder resist, the mask and you can kind of see where I've soldered it took a bit of heat, and a, you know, a bit of flux but you can see on the left and right hand side there so that means that the this barrel here is directly connected to the ground strap not just through those pins which comes which came loose so that may actually mean I've got a better ground from the BNC to the the ground plane in addition to making it so that they didn't, they're not loose because um, if you know your connection is loose in there it could be a bit of a dodgy connection but that's made those three really nice and tight and I'm going to connect this wire to here oh, and I've got awesome earth connection all the way through so yeah, if you got one of these things and your BNCs are a bit loose, that's how you fix it. Just solder, just on the top there, on each side. You will need a high wattage iron. Um, I've just got this hacko, this hacko thing. Uh, I don't even know what wattage it is. Uh, what is that? Five watt. But I was cranking that thing up to 500, 500 degrees to get the heat in there um, but yeah it worked so just use a big soldering iron and lots of flux and yeah check out if you have if you need to do the recall if you look on the Tektronix website just 
Google TDS 210 recall and you'll find a a web page where it says these serial numbers and the serial number is um, yeah it's on the back here just the serial number just here so you check that serial number on the website and it'll tell you if it needs to the recall and if it does um, it's not worth sending back now just do this mod with the earth wire and you're sweet the earth wire you can solder it pretty much anywhere along here to the actual bodies of these um, to this ring here um, even on the back um, you can solder it you know, anywhere along here if you have a close look you'll see where the ground plane is just be careful you've got your 5 volt square wave calibration pin here for your um, your probe so make sure you don't cause any solder bridges onto that um, one of them is a ground and one of them is a uh, is the, the 5 volt trigger you can see the top and bottom there but yeah that's about it um, if you need to get into the thing it's pretty easy basically you've got two uh, torque screws in the top corners you just take the uh, take the handle off get a screwdriver and just carefully pry the hand the handle off and then you got one screw there and one screw there I think they're T5 torques the back comes off you might need to use a spudger or a flat blade screwdriver just to carefully uh, convince the the bottom to come unhooked just to persuade it a little bit and then it'll come off and that's that's what we need to do um, this part here will just carefully lift out of the front face this piece here once you take the knobs off the knobs just pull off there's no screws or anything they just friction fit and you get in there and then you can replace the earth or install the earth and fix these and you're all sweet your old workhorse is back in action another one to probably check is these capacitors up here if any of these bold you want to replace them because they're the output filter capacitors for the switch mode power supply and they often fail in you know, other electronics like LCD monitors and whatnot because they take a lot of ripple to smooth it out they're smoothing out a lot of ripple um, but in mine, mine's old and these are still good so there's no bulging or anything so it looks like they're all good there's a pretty high quality piece of kit in its day anyway I'm going to put this thing back together and fire it up peace out